prejudice. Want the song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Freedom You are listening to our own fantasy and sports. Uh, oh, oh, is that still thing? I, 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 yeah, right. I'm just sitting up here. I, I got, I'm, I, I got permission to be on the whole show today, even though it cost me all them sweet rolls and donuts over there for y'all. But it's all right. And, and, but that that little bar, that that spliff of champagne. Now that's the first lady. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Don't be, <laughs> don't touch her. I, 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 I got my ice pick. Don't mess with. Oh, oh. Ice pig, spit face. Hey, hey, oh, well, watch school. Well, watch out, Jimmy Shake Girls. You know how he is about uh, first place. <laughs> you know how he is. Hey, hey, well, hey. You know, we got spit face up in here. We got, hey, the one and only first lady of sports talk. The one and only Sherwood Hey, hey, we got the shimmy shake girls always shimmy and shaking. I'm on the bare skin rug naked. First lady, let's not even keep them waiting. There's so much to talk about this week. So what you saying? Each week we try to figure out what is going on in the sports world. Not the players of the week, more like the players of the week. Are they trying to tell us something? So we ask, what you saying? Fly, little birdie, fly. Time keeps on slipping into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. So I want to fly like an eagle to the sea, fly like an eagle, let the spirit carry me. I want to fly, fly right into the future. The little birdie known as Sheldon Richardson of the New York Jets wish he could fly far away from several charges, including <clears throat> resisting arrest, Exceeding the speed limit by driving over 140 miles per hour, following too closely, failing to use lights, failing to obey traffic signals, and miraculously avoiding a child endangerment charge, giving a 14-year-old was in the car with them. <laughs> but by the way, officers noted there was a strong odor of marijuana and a loaded gun he was reaching for when he finally did get catch up to them. I mean, damn. what is going on with <laughs> Sheldon? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> right, damn. Did Sheldon have a job with NASCAR? Where was the child's mama? Wasn't he already looking at a suspension? Joe Namath, Joe Kleckel, Pat Leahy, and the Steve Miller band are asking, <laughs> what you saying? Wow. Well, it seems to me that he should have been our need to grow for this week because, oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what is going on with Sheldon Richardson? I mean, this is ridiculous. And he kind of said, I'm sorry. He's been saying, I'm sorry so many times. I mean, it reminds me of Ruben Stutter's song, I'm Sorry, 2004. Well, we got Sheldon Richardson with I'm Sorry, 2015. Yeah. I mean, how many times can someone say I'm sorry? Well, he had to at least say it twice because within a 24-hour period. <laughs> because as you know, he was facing that four-game suspension for violating the league's substance abuse policy. Hmm, I yeah. wonder if that's what they smelled in that car. But on July 14th, you know, he decided he was going to drive that 2014 Bentley at the high speed, 143 miles per hour. I mean, who would drive that fast? You had to be yeah. in a NASCAR car to drive something like that. And then you're going to have three family members in the car with you because you claim you wanted to do something for fun for your family members because they've never been in the car like that before. Come on, this is like I said, this need to grow really needs to he really thinks that he's uh, Jimmy Johnson on NASCAR track. I mean, give me a break. Um, I just really, you know who I feel sorry for? This fact, I feel sorry for Todd Bowles. That's who I feel sorry for. I mean, this is his mm. first coaching gig, and he has to deal with this nonsense. I mean, you know, he's trying to um, coach a team, the Jets, and try to get them into the playoffs. 
and he had to deal with somebody like Sheldon Richardson. I mean, come on, he's a pro bowler, too. He's one of his best yeah. defensive players. And, uh, you know, but he's really, Bowles is really getting his rapid initi- initiation into being a head coach when you got to deal with somebody like Richard, um, excuse me, like Sheldon Richardson. So, I, I mean, you can definitely bank on it. He already has the possible four-game suspension. He'll probably get another additional two games regarding this latest incident. So, I mean, to have your best, one of your best defensive player out for about six games, that's going to be really tough for um, Bowles. So I, that's who I really feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for Sheldon Richardson. I mean, wanna be NASCAR driver? <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, look, but, you can go to Orlando if you wanna be a NASCAR driver. They got, you know, where you can go in and be on the tracks. So why don't you take your family there? Try to do it yeah. on a highway. And then the, the thing about it too, he was racing against somebody. That was the one thing I couldn't understand either. But anyway, Dizzy, yeah. what do you think about this situation, which is silly? Well, hey, I mean, you're right. He just a silly, just a need to grow a, a, a fool. Now, here it is. You could have just took your family to the Bahamas. Hey. Some fun. You know, you could have taken them someplace. You could have sent them someplace. Uh, here you are playing NASCAR in a Bentley, knowing that them cars are not meant to be driven that fast, and you could even catch the man. You lost the race, too. The man got away. You know, he even got away from you. You know, you you up there trailing and, 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 and messing up, and doing smoking weed and stuff all up in the car, you know, passing the passing the blunt around. And, you know, your, your family member's looking at you like, oh, you know, uh, this is what you do. Yeah, yeah, all that. And, and well, okay, he's going to get suspended four more games for being in need to grow. Now, that's going to really put a extra dent and Ty Bowles' first season as head coach of the New York Jets. He's going to be suspended four more games. Uh, yeah, I can't see him being suspended for anything less than four more games you need to grow because they're going to put the hammer down. If you don't put the hammer down on top of his hard head, he's going to put the hammer down. You already were going to be missing four games. You out there driving recklessly, endangering the life of minors, doing all types of stuff, NASCAR stuff, uh, Dukes of Hazard stuff out there. Man, what are you what are you thinking about? Well, oh, I forgot. You weren't thinking. That's the problem. You were smoking. You were high as a kite. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, he, you know, he, he, where was the child's mama at? That's what I want to know. Where was the girl's <laughs> mama at? Where, where was the mama at? You know, well, oh, she was in the car, too? She was high, too. She must have been high. The whole family, except for the 14-year-old. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, he had to be getting a buzz. <laughs> hey, he's like being scared as, scared as hell. You know, this is your, your uncle driving crazy. You know, you, you know your uncle is crazy. I mean, hey, she's crazy, crazy, son. You know he's crazy, a, girl, a, a young lady. You know he's crazy. He even got suspended for, for, for violating the substance abuse. You know Uncle Sheldon is crazy. <laughs> And I, yeah, and I, 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 you know how I go. That's just your uncle. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Don't be worried about that. That's just your uncle. <laughs> that, that's how you do. That's how you do. Don't be worried about it. <laughs> you know, hey, you know, little, little, little teeth chattering. You about to peep me off. <laughs> That's just hey, your like, <laughs> you know, hey, living in New York, hey, you know, what else can they do? Living in New York, again, you know, you're catching the subway. I guess you do want to try to drive and try to, you know, uh, not catch the subway and the train and all that. But, man, you need to grow. Yeah, right. And we'll see when he gets his additional suspensions, uh, I mean, additional days for being suspended. Um, we'll see. Hopefully he'll turn his life around because he really started 2015 off the season off with a horrible start. That's the bottom line. Um, I just, you know, people wish, you know, players wish they could be in his situation. You know, young players coming up and this man doesn't know what to do with his time away from football yeah. field. True. It is what it Thank is, you. but... Uh, Hey, uh, first lady, I could just see you. You just, you, you just, 
your face tells it all. <laughs> you just so exasperated by this. I mean, you know, a Bentley, a Bentley. Hey, try a bearskin rug next time. Show <laughs> Richardson, it'll go faster. You won't be caught. Don't go to comeback. I've been here for years, rocking my peers, putting suckers in fear, making the tears rain down like a monsoon. Listen to the bass go boom. Explosion. Overpower. Over the competition, I'm towering. Wrecking shot. When I drop these lyrics, that'll make you call the cops. Don't you dare stare. You better move. Don't ever compare me to the rest. That'll all get you sliced and dice. Competition paying a price. I'm going to knock you out. Uh, Mama said knock you out. Uh. We're not talking about Sue, Sally, Hale, Maman, Rion, or Babe Dietrich Zaharias. We're talking about the knockout punch the ladies are landing on the the glass ceiling of the NFL and related programming. The Cardinals hired Becky Hammond as the first female coach. Sarah Thomas is the first female NFL referee. And the Raiders hired Beth Moen as the first female to do play-by-play in the NFL. Is the old boys club gone? Is it a matter of time before we have our first female NFL player? It's being chewed out by a woman worse than being chewed out by a man. Tony La Russa, Nikki Stangle, Sparky Anderson, and Joe Torrey are asking, what you saying? Well, first lady, I'm going to go just like this in reverse order. Yes, it is worse being chewed out by a woman than a man because, again, you know women will tell you the absolute truth. They will hurt your business with crazy. They will tell you stuff that no man will tell you, and they will ask you, what, what, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, it will be. It will be. Again, oh, yeah. Right. Break. So, Break. I don't want to be chewed out. You don't want to be chewed out by a woman. You have everybody looking at you. You have other players saying, ooh, 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 ooh. You have everybody, even in the stands, saying, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it will be rough. It will be rough. But it's 2015. The old boys club is slowly being infiltrated by qualified females who can coach, who know the game. I've always said, if you ever want to know how to play basketball the right way, you look at a WNBA game or you look at a college game, and the women will show you how to do it. Men rely on their talent. Women rely on the system and the plays. They will do everything they need to do to make sure that you understand what's going on. They know X's and O's, and they can strategize and put you in a position to win. Sometimes, you know how it is, first lady in the NBA, if it's the last shot time, the best player just gets the ball. You get out of his way and let him work. But, see, you watch a WNBA game. Man, I was looking at the Chicago Sky and the L.A. Uh, Sparks. And, man, if Parker, Nicole, I mean, I forgot her name, but she's bad. Uh, but, hey. You talk, um, um, uh, talking about my, my – uh, uh, Which one are you talking about? Candace, the, Candace, Parker. Candace, Parker. Candace Parker. Candace Parker. Candace Parker. Candace Parker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm talking about, man, 30-something points. And you you were looking like, huh, what? And she was like, what, what? You thought I couldn't do it? She was doing it in multiple ways, out on the wing, down in the post, in on the fast break. I mean, they are showing their skills, and they're getting a the chance. I mean, I'm talking about play-by-play. Uh, I mean, I done seen Doris Burke do her thing on ESPN. Uh, I mean, I done seen, you know, uh, Becky Hammond, you know, in, in, in the uh, NBA win the summer league. I mean, come on. They, they're doing their thing first. Like, they're doing their thing. I got to give it up. Hey, just like the Shimmy Shake girls, I got to give it up to them. Yeah, baby, you know, you're doing your thing and you deserve it. What you got to say first, like? Well, I mean, this definitely has been a year of great achievement of women in sports. I mean, as you mentioned, from basketball, now the NFL. You know, uh, but the one thing about it, I'm very surprised about the NFL giving women chances because they really have not been groundbreaking 
in setting standards for diversity, like the NBA. I mean, I expect it in the NBA uh, because, uh, you know, they've always had uh, race, uh, you know, give uh, African Americans a chance. You know, they had the first female referee, so L sport, L sport. So I, I expect it at the NBA, but I, I'm very surprised with the NFL. You know, because the NFL definitely is an old boys club, but uh, with these latest um, positions given going to women, you know, the walls are of the club is definitely crumbling down, and it's really um, very good for the NFL considering all the issues they've had with women's issues, you know, with the domestic violence. So I, I really think they needed to start letting some women into the league. And, uh, you know, so I think they're trying to turn around their image, and I think that's some of the reason why this is happening. Um, the uh, coach that was hired by um, the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, um, she definitely is really well qualified for the position. Uh, she played linebacker in the women's league and for many years, so she definitely is a, could teach some of these men how to play the linebacking um, position. Um, as far as um, some of the other changes, you know, I'm very shocked to the first time to have a woman play-by-play. I mean, as you indicated, Dizzy Mack, the NBA had many women um, as analysts, you know. Uh, I, 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 let, 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 I, I do have to put in, old Grumpy wanted to specifically let you know that uh, we realize that they may be knocking at your door. Well, thank you. <laughs> to have you in a booth. Yeah. But he does want to say, don't you be forgetting where you came from. <laughs> I, yeah, that's true. But, as, I mean, let's just give props to where the props belong. I mean, but, you know, there's always been women in sports for a long time, from Jane Kennedy, from, I'm going back old school to the 70s. Yeah. So um, it's it's great. It's, it's really great to see women have a chance in professional society. Sport. Now, is it a possibility for a woman to play in the NFL? Uh, it's going to be a long, long way off before that happens. I predict a woman will play in the NBA before the NFL because clearly, you know, based on physicality of the NFL, I, I, at this point in time, I just don't see women playing against men in the NFL. Uh, but in the NBA, I truly think one day, there will be a female on an NBA team. Um, oh. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad. Again, it's great for the NFL. They're making great strides with women in coaching. They're a referee. You know, they hired the first referee in the NFL. And, um, you know, they're also going to have, they have women working in the front office. Um, um, the Miami um, Dolphins have a woman that a, a woman that works in the first in the front office. Um, Diane Ponte, she works in the uh, office. So, you know, these ladies, the ladies rock. You know, you rock. Ladies, you continue on. It is the year of the women, and they're independent. So, you know, holler at all of the women in sports. So I, I believe it, times have changed. It's not a boys' club anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, first lady is a trailblazer. I know what. Uh, Old Grumpy, first lady to have a sports talk show. I mean, it's like entertainment. She's doing her thing. Got to put you up there, first lady. I appreciate all the respect. Thank you so much. Hey, hey right. you know it. Well, first lady, that was a good man. That was a dynamite first segment. Uh, take us to break uh, while we get some mimosas. All right. The first three listeners to email us or send a shout-out why each lady mentioned in the opening was special will receive a $25 gift card from our friends at sportsacademy.com. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we have a performance from King Clico on the first part of Shout Out. Free Mr. Bob. Mimosas all around. Oh, 
Edible Arrangements has a fresh fruit bouquet to make any occasion special. Our bouquets are made with fresh premium fruit, arranged in a variety of stunning displays. Make every occasion special with Edible Arrangements. Uh, guys, the baby's over here. Oh, all right. Okay, yes. And don't even think about touching my edible arrangement. For pickup or delivery nationwide, call 877-DO-FRUIT, 877-DO-FRUIT, or go to ediblearrangement.com. That's ediblearrangement.com. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> Mm. Uh, <laughs> what a nice looking baby you got there. Make all your special moments. Aww. Moments with edible arrangements. The music flows in from around the globe to get a shout out from the panel. First lady, I can't wait to hear the music from King Clico. On Shout Out, we feature new independent artists who are looking to find their shining star. If we like what we hear, we'll give the track a shout out. If we don't like it, we hit the mute. This morning, we have King Clico out of Eugene, Oregon, with a track from his album, Freedom. All right, DJ, let's hear Run Them Out. Run them, I run them, I run out them, move them, I 
I did right. Okay, this is your mark. That was random out D. Random out. What do you think of King Coleco? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. They hit that, uh, you know, kind of vibe where, hey, you can just sit my muscles all day. Uh, the shimmy shake girls were shimmying and shaking too. We're going to give it a shout out first, lady. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Make your people okay. move. Yep, they got them moving on there. Okay, uh, Ronty B, what do you think? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I, see that. I, I, see that. I, I see that. I see that. I see that. Uh, uh, the the Andre Ramirez then snuck into the studio with a big old oh. friend, so you know he didn't want a bunch of money all week long. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andre. Andre got that big old belt. He got that little Cheshire shit cat grin on his face. He's been winning big. Look at him. Winning is everything. <laughs> We like we like Andre. <laughs> All right. So spit face, what did you think of random? I, I, I thought that they were smart enough to have a good beat. <laughs> <laughs> smart enough to have a good beat. I, 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 I'm gonna shout it out. But I, I was like they had a good beat. And you couldn't tell what the hell they was saying, but they had a good beat going. <laughs> and, he, and they just played that beat. They let it ride. So, so sometimes you can mess yourself up trying to be too damn smart. They just went in that lane and said, whip it, whip it, whip it. <laughs> Running it out. All right, Andre, you want to chime in on here? What do you think of King Clico rum them out? Oh, I mean, I got to give, you know, Clinko, uh, you know, two thumbs up on that one. I, I, had a, I had a groove in, you know, I was already shaking it, you know. Yeah, I liked it, you know. I got a, a good shout out for him. Okay, well, I'm going to definitely shout that out. I love Rum Them Out. I mean, I love reggae music, so I reggae all, all the time. Um, dance Hall, that was a Dance Hall song there. So definitely I'm shouting that out. And I don't know if he stayed in his lane. I mean, like I said, that's typical reggae music. It's very simple beat. And um, the words, you may understand it. Trust me, I'm quite sure it has some meaning to it. But uh, definitely a good, good <laughs> reggae song. <laughs> All right, that was Run Them Out. And um, on part two of Shout Out, we'll have another performance from King Clico. Is that the sound of my favorite underwater friend? I mean, he was splashing over there with King Clico and run them out. All right, let's run out. It's time for Flip It. It's time for Flip It, where I host, defend the view, and then flip the script and defend the opposing view. The season is out to start, and most teams are already in training camp. Last year's Bad News Bears made some splashes in the offseason, hiring a new coach, getting the top receiver out of the draft, signing free agents Pernell McPhee and Antrell Rowe. But the real question is, Jay Cutler, will all this be for not if Jay Cutler is at the helm? We ask the panel to defend. Jay Cutler is a waste of $100 million. Plainly putting it, he stinks. <laughs> Dizzy Mac, the fan. 
Jay Cutler stank. I'm telling you, he's got a stank attitude. He's got a stank gang. His whole style is stank. I'm telling you, whenever I see Jay Cutler, I think one thing. Trump, he's just a big chump, a big baby. When things don't go right, he doesn't get going. He gets going home. A waste of $100 million. They could have put somewhere else and could have bought in another top-flight quarterback. He's not a monster of the midway. He's just a weakling away. He will not get it done. He cannot get it done. And he just thinks. All right, you heard it from Dizzy Mac, past the tissue paper. Uh, <laughs> Andre, they cut the stank. Well, um, who wants to make the bet that he'll throw more interceptions this year? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, obviously, I, I think the coaches like the guy. You know, um, I don't know why. Um, you know, he's had, he's been having a lot of issues for the last couple of years. And, uh, he, he, he kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, like that dog with fleas, you know, you ever seen the dog with fleas? He, he's just one of those dogs that you just feel sorry for, but a hundred million dollars, <laughs> man, money grows on trees in Chicago. <laughs> that was a bad, that's a bad decision. You could, you could, there's a lot more talent out there for a good price, but, uh, you know, Chicago loves your cutler, and you know what? Uh, you know, I know, I know a lot of you guys are from Chicago. I mean, you can back up your, your pizza over there in Chicago. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so Andre is saying there's no cheese with Jay Cutler. <laughs> uh, first Lady, the fan, Jay Cutler's thing. I'm not afraid to say it, but Jay Cutler stinks, and I'm not talking about body odor. His play as a quarterback stinks. <laughs> he has become one of the biggest overpaid jokes in the NFL. ESPN has ranked him 20th of all quarterbacks when it comes to their recent poll. Cutler has a low producing passing statistics. And he has committed more turnovers than the Pillsbury Doughboy. I mean, hmm. it's just sad. <laughs> it's really sad for the Bears. They just can't replace them. That's the sad part about it because I don't even think they have a suitable backup. And we know it's cold in Chicago. Well, it's going to be really frigid for the Bears if Jay Cutler continues to play for them. <laughs> I'll turn off anybody. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> Jay Cutler in a smelly situation. But, uh, you know, this is flip it. So we're going to flip the script. We asked the panel to defend, but to keep Jay Cutler as horrid as that defense was, as well as the stinking coaching. It was a miracle Jay played as well as he did. The man's a star who might become a superstar now that he got a real coach. Dizzy Mack, the fan. Oh, yeah. Keep Jay Cutler, for sure. Because I could come off the desk and rug and run for 200 yards against that horrid Bears defense. Man, I saw Ronnie B. And, and this they warming up because they were going to go for over 200 yards as a passing duo. And, hey, even Andre Ramirez was itching to come in there and make his name and get a big contract off that defense. Yeah, keep Jay Cutler. He's the only thing that will keep you in the game, his arm strength and his potential, yes, to make the big play will always make the Bears a formidable offensive team, and they got the young wide receiver tandem uh, out there standing 6'3 and taller. Yeah, they're going deep. They're going up against the small cornerbacks. Jay Cutler's the only one that can exploit it. Believe me, 
with 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 with, with uh, Mike Fox as the coach now. Hey, I mean, you, I mean, I mean, you 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 cannot ask for a better coach. He's a big upgrade over Mark Trestman. You know, airhead, space cadet. That's it. Yeah, he's gonna be a superstar. He's going back to his all pro ways, his all pro days, and he's gonna do what he needs to do to keep the game, you yeah. know, close. Make sure that the Bears are scoring points, racking up them points in the NFC North. All right, we heard the defense, the <laughs> NFC North division. Andre Ramirez. Better keep Jay. Defend. Jay, <laughs> Jay Cutler's going to make a comeback just like Brett Favre, you know? You got to get you got to get you got to get hold for 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 Jay. You know, he had a, a couple bad years, you know, a couple more bad years. But you know what? Don't give up. And and, that, and that's I think that maybe the fire's still lit in, in in Cutler. And that's what he's telling his, his Chicago boys. You know, hey, you know what? I, I, I done really bad. I mean, I fumbled the ball, I intercept the ball, and I, I got the I got the record. You know what? He does have the record in sacks. You got to give him credit for that. So, you know, I, I think he's worth $100 million. Um, and I think it's going to be his comeback year. And uh, don't be surprised if the Bears make the playoffs. Don't be surprised. Um, we're going to leave it at that. Um, all my chiefs down in Chicago, uh, good luck with your Jay Cutler guy because we got a lot of faith in the guy. Oh. Okay. You heard to this defense from Andre, and Andre was Andre know what side his pizza is made. (laughs) 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 But we need the defense from the first lady. Uh oh. Well, Coach Tressman was supposed to be the coach to bring Cutler to the next level. However, Jay Cutler took two steps back, and the offense was still inadequate. With John Fox as the new coach, and he is the new coach in town, we all know he's a quarterback coach. This is why Peyton Manning went to Denver, because of John Fox. I mean, let's face it, he's going to assist with the offense for Cutler, so the Cutler could be successful. Um, He won't put him in situations where he's always throwing log bombs. Um, Fox was very impressed with Cutler's off-season workouts. You know, he complimented Jay. Of course, he didn't say anything about his skills because at this point, Fox is just being very careful, and he wants to build Jay Cutler's confidence up. And hopefully John Fox will know what he's doing to make Jay Cutler successful. And you notice I didn't say too much about Jay Cutler because I'm still not believer. But anyway, I know this is flippant. But anyway, we'll see what Jay Cutler can do, and I'm quite sure he's going to have a much, much better year than he did last year because last year that was the worst year ever. Mm. There's some hope, Chicago fans. There's hope out there. Uh, I will say this. Pernell McPhee, Entrell Roll. And um, the, the, the name eludes me, but he switched one of their starters, switched posi- back to his original position on defense. Jay ain't going to have to do nothing but hand that ball off and <laughs> to Matt Forte. Look for the resurgence of Matt Forte, who disappeared. But uh, <clears throat> First Lady, please take us to break. Stay tuned. Up next, we have the funnies, our favorite underwater friend on Flip It Part 2. Turnovers for everybody. I'm Boss Hogg, host of The Last Word. When I'm inside or outside of the studio, I have to make sure I wear the best, and that includes the best in eyewear. Ray-Ban eyewear has been worn by those seeking to go from myth to legend. Ray-Ban's selection of legendary styles dating back to 1937 had been worn by the famous, infamous, and everyone in between. Ray-Ban eyewear has stood the test of time. Many of today's top entertainers, athletes, and those who want to make a fashion statement choose from their vast array of styles 
designed to take you from myth to legendary. To find a store near you or to browse their wide selection, visit Ray Band at www.ray-band.com. That's www.rayband.com. Take it from Boss Hall. I say rush it when it comes to Ray Bands. They are the last word when it comes to eyewear that will make your style legendary. Holla! Welcome back. You are listening to Bras, Panties, and Sports. It is time for the funnies. Come on, Dizzy Mac, over to you. Thanks, first lady. Now, first lady, we have our 25th Need to Grow story of 2015. 25 already. Wow. Well, I think it should be 26 because we already had one earlier. Oh, well, yeah. We Sheldon did. Richardson. <laughs> Hey, well, it's Sheldon Richardson is our 1A, and he is the uh, 25th one. And, again, this is down in Florida. Florida, <laughs> Florida man arrested for joyride across jail long. Security cameras, security cameras were recording when Michael Lee Roberts hit a bench, drove around the lawn, and hit a flagpole at Hernando County Detention Center. A man who refused to correct his substandard parking job at a Florida jail ended up as an inmate when he decided to take his SUV for a jaw ride across the law. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office said Michael Lee Roberts, 31, was defiant Monday when Sergeant Stephen Wagner told him he couldn't park his sport utility vehicle on the sidewalk in front of the main entrance of the Hernando <laughs> Center. He got mad. Wagner escorted Roberts outside where he again refused to move the vehicle. Roberts got into his SUV when a second deputy approached to tell him to move the vehicle, but instead of parking, he backed down the walkway into a bench and then sped him forward onto the jail's landscape lawn. <laughs> Robert suddenly turned the vehicle around and headed back toward the building on the grass and took aim at the deputy's patrol car. At the last minute, Robert abruptly turned to the left, continuing in a full circle, striking the flagpole. Woo! Robert was ordered out of the vehicle and was arrested on charge of criminal mischief and resisting an officer without violence. He was ordered held in lieu of $4,000 bond. I tell you, that was a need to grow. All because he couldn't park his vehicle in front of the jail on the side. I, 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 I'm trying to figure out what is a uh, is correcting a substandard parking job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is, is that, uh, what a, is a substandard parking yeah. job? Do that mean that he he had a job parking? <laughs> yeah, and he was yeah. sub. What what is that? So I, I, and then the second thing is, obviously that ain't no brother. Oh no, oh no, that, that ain't no. I, 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 Andre, I, I know, uh, Andre, I, I know you Republican, but forgive me, Andre. We know that ain't no brother. <laughs> that my, if it was a brother, he would been shot. <laughs> you aiming your, your, the, you aiming your car at the police officer's car? No, no, you, you dead. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you it, come on, Dre. You got it. I mean, I know you were, but you got it. You you know that. So it it had to be someone. Oh, it's not a cop. <laughs> but I don't even think an agent would have got away with that. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I I'm going need to grow. <laughs> Lucky need right. to grow. <laughs> hey, matter of fact. We we just put him as one 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 A and made, made, uh, elevate Sheldon Richardson. At least Sheldon Richardson <laughs> wasn't kidding us. He was uh, playing NASCAR and he had a better vehicle than an SUV, a Bentley. But gosh darn it, if this water splashing all on my bearskin rug, it must be time for our favorite underwater friend. It's time for flipping. Get the water off me, flipper. <laughs> 
If a flipper know that wasn't no brother. Time for flipping where our hosts defend a point and then flip the script and defend the opposing view. The Houston Astros, the Strolls, put a whipping on the Angels, putting them up two games in the AL West and within striking distance of overtaking the hackers known as the Kansas City Royals. Panel defend, Houston. Hope you enjoy the victories now cause, because when it's all said and done, they will be a wild card. Dizzy Mack, the fan. Oh, yeah, Houston. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy it. Enjoy all the laughter, all the partying y'all did after beating the Angels in that series. Enjoy it. Because, man, I said, you're not going to be able to laugh for long. You're going to be crying. Because I, I tell you, it, 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 it's going to be somebody else in that wild card. And it, it, you're not going to overtake the KC Royals. They done added Johnny Cueto. They done, they done improved their team. They done got Zobrisk. So, hey, they're looking at being a better team than they were last year and an even more dangerous team. You got arms, you got bats, you got you got everything else that you need in KC, barbecue, all that. What's up, Prospect Street? So, Houston, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a big problem. You're not going to make it. So, understand, you know, you, 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 you're going to Enjoy now, but you're going to cry later when you're out of the wild card and sitting at home watching somebody else play. They don't have enough in Houston to overtake nobody. All right, we heard the defense from Dizzy Mack. Andre, Houston better enjoy them victories now. Defend. Uh, the Houston Nationals got excellent pitching and excellent hitting. Um, they're they're the sleeper team and uh, was one of the biggest talks in you know, earlier the season and and uh, they got a lot of fire going on right now. But like you said, you know it's like a like a race. You know you got your distant racers and you got people who do the long distance and uh, it's a short distance for for Houston and I don't think they have the experience to get past um, going you know into the into the wild card. I, I just think it's probably just going to phase out. All right, we heard the defense from Andre. First Lady, Houston got a problem. Well, let's not call Houston the best team in the West. I mean, even though the Astros recently beat the Angels, the Angels are still the team to beat for the the Western Division. I mean, we are past the midway point of the season. In H-Town, you have the right to celebrate but you haven't been there before. The pressure will eventually wear down your young players. The Angels won the division last year, and they have the resolve to win it again. I'm not hating on the Astros, but when you've been in last place for many, many years, the Mm. gloves, the bats, and the pitching will get very, very tight. And I'm not saying choking, but the Astros, You will stumble into the wild card spot. But don't be concerned about the wild card because wild card winners have gone to the World Series before. So don't worry. Be happy. Okay. We've heard the defense from uh, the first lady, but this is flip it. Panel defend. If they Pitch like a champ, hit like a champ, and win games like a champ, watch out. They will at least be the champs of the West. Dizzy Mack, please defend. Houston put it all on display when they played the Angels. Timely hitting, pitching, they were able to shut down the bats of the Angels, quiet them, and make them look like mortals. Houston is on to something. They've built from within. They they uh, provided themselves with an opportunity to 
bring their youngsters up and their youngsters are playing at a high level. Hey, this is baseball. This is a game they've been playing all their lives. I mean, this is what they've been groomed for. All you got to do is hit, pitch, feel, and you're going to be okay. And Houston has proved that they can do that well enough to overtake anybody in the West and become the new kids on the block and win the West. Houston is looking mighty good. They're doing big things in H-Town. Watch out. They've arrived. Okay. All right. Dizzy Max says the limo has pulled up to the station. Andre. Get him, champ. The fan. Houston is the sleeper team. I love Houston. They got a lot of energy, young team, and they got the drive for success. I'm going to bet that we will hit the wild card. I don't know about winning the championships, but they could pull it out. And, and they're, uh, they got a, they have a lot of heart and they play well. Um, it's, you know, everybody gives credit to the bigger teams, um, but never underestimate the underdog. The underdog likes to howl. Remember the wolf? <laughs> Sorry about that. But they are the underdog. They are the wolf. And beware of the wolf because Houston is going to come. They're going to come swinging hard on this one. Playoffs, Houston could be the probably even the next World Series champion. Guys, I got to head out right now. My client just pulled in. But All right. Well, we nice thank you, you for, for being on the show this week, Andre. <laughs> thank you. Keep knocking wow. it live. Knocking right, it live. We got, we got box. Remember, we got box to take this uh, today. Oh, uh, well, you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Take it All right bye-bye. Bye. All right. First lady, defend. If they pitch like a champ, hit like a champ, and win games like a champ, watch out. They will at least be the champs of the West. Defend. The Astros didn't waste time by trading for left-hander pitcher Scotty Casimir from the Oakland A's a week before the end of the trading deadline. They strengthened their pitching rotation with a good starter who's already won a game for them. I mean, the Astros know, knows analytic. Their front office have a formula to win. And speaking of winning, the Astros have resolved with winning the recent head-to-head competition with the Angels which propelled them back on top in their division. And, you know, the Western champs, I mean, they have the issues that they can really make it. They have resilience. And the main reason the Astros have resilience is because they play like a true champ, because they know how to win games whether the team is hitting or pitching well. The Astros know how to manufacture runs with aggressive base running. Always take it at extra base, putting pressure on the opposing team. This mentality will propel them to the champs of the West. Houston Astros are in it to win it, and Houston, you don't have a problem. Mm. Show enough, show enough. First lady, please take the break. On the other side... We'll have another performance from King Coleco on Shout Out, part two. Please stay tuned. Bam! They say stop creditors from harassing you. Consolidate your credit card debt into a loan. They say stop those annoying calls. Simply file bankruptcy. They don't say. Consolidating credit card debt into a loan keeps you paying on that debt for years and more years with interest. They don't say file for bankruptcy and say no to a car loan, no to a mortgage for up to 11 years. Don't file bankruptcy and ruin your credit for years. Don't. Get a consolidation loan and pay years and years. Get your credit.
card debt destroyed. Call Sharon, the debt destroyer. Sharon and her team of experts work hard to help you eliminate your credit card debt and get you and your credit back on track. No bankruptcy, no loans, your credit card debt eliminated. Have your credit card debt destroyed. Contact Sharon, the debt destroyer, at your debt destroyed.com or call 888-431-2829 extension 2 you are listening to brown fan and sports it's time for shout out part 2 the pitch and the finale the music flows from around the globe to get a shout out from the first lady and the crew first lady over to you we have another performance from King Coleco. Okay, DJ, and we're going to hear Make It. Adita Tibas representing Fichera B Production. We got to be you know? Say we not going to make it. And say we not going to make it. I want them to Through them pressure we when we are trying because the limit is the sky. Say we not go make it. Say we not go make it. Open my mouth. Shoot them pressure we when we are trying. Because we know say them lie. Yeah. They don't know but they get to lie. No, 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 no. Let me tell you but they get to lie. Talk to them, King. Talk to them. They don't know but rich lies. The water running up by it. We have the walk say an extra mile. We get some by the riverside, the riverside, the riverside. Johnny Star. Say we not go make it. And say we not go make it. Hey. Through them pressure we when we are trying. Because the limit is the sky. Say we not go make it. Say we not go make it. Through them pressure we when we are trying. Because we know say them lie. When it rains, mosquito them a breed cause there is no rain. You promise us things over and over again. But as the day gone by, things still remain. Not the they use them homeless. Babylon is to be blamed. We work so hard, we try so hard things back and slave trade. Black man them from the field, black woman has made. Babylon commit the crime, get to use them a friend. You not see what them do for you again. Talent is let them get to use them not cause in jail. Them not cause in jail. Them not cause in jail. Them attack, but you know them full of lies. Them try to stop me, but the limit is the sky. So tell your kid, don't like you want you full of good vibes. They never hear the voices of the ghetto on the cry. For people flying in cities and them get no reply. Red Red can get employment application denied. This is the reason why the crime rate so high. Can't get no food, no shelter, so they commit the crime. They commit the crime. You know what they say, must not stop flying. Say we not go make Never it. Never mind. And say we not go make it. Yeah. Through them pressure we when we are trying. Because the limit is the sky. Say we not go make it. Say we not go make it. Through them pressure we when we are trying. Because we know say them lie.
watch how we when we are try If I we know say them lies Yeah man There are big production, you know Think people But Big up MC Sosa Keep Old crew Tech Galba No Blast Representing the Cherubic Production. We got two people, you know. Say we na go make it. And say we na go make it. I want them to go. Shoot them for sure we when we are trying. Because the limit is the sky. Say we na go make it. And say we na go make it. We got mad mode. Shoot them for sure we when we are trying. Because we know say them lie. Nobody gets a lie. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, but they get a lie. Talk to them, King. Talk to them. They don't know about bridge lie. The words are running up high. Me have the words, they are extra mile. We get some by the riverside. The riverside. The riverside. John Star. Say we now go make it. And say we now go make it. Show me when we are trying Because the limit is the sky Say we not go make it Say we not go make it Show them pressure we when we are trying Because we know say them lie Don't be not the when it rains, mosquito them a breed cause they're in no rain. You promise us things over and over again. But as if they gone by, things still remain. Not they will use them homeless. Babylon is to be blamed. We were so hard to try to add things that are slave trade. Black man them pan the steel, black woman has made. Babylon commit the crime, get to use them a frame. You not see what them do for you again. Silent is let them get to use them a cost in jail. Them a cost in jail. Them not cross in jail. Say we not go make it. Them say we not go make it. Yeah. Shoot them pressure we when we are trying. Because the limit is the sky. Say we not go make it. Say we not go make it. Shoot them pressure we when we are trying. Because we know say them lie. Politicians them attack, but you know them full of lies. Them try to stop me, but the limit is the sky. So tell your kids don't like you, one you full of good vibes. They them never hear the voices of the ghetto when they cry. But people sign a petition and get to reply. Graduate and get employment application denied. This is the reason why the crime rate so high. Can't get no food, no shelter, so they commit the crime. They commit the crime. You know what they say, must not no sign. Say we not go make it. Never mind. And say we not go make it. Be real. Shoot them pressure we when we are trying. Because the limit is the sky. Say we not go make it. Say we not go make it. Shoot them pressure we when we are trying. Because we know say them lie. Show it when we are trying Because the limit is the sky Say we not go make it Say we not go make it Show them pressure we when we are trying Because we know say them Say we not go make it Say we not go make it Show them pressure we when we are trying Because the limit is the sky Say we not go make it Say we not go make it Shouldn't pressure we when we are trying Because we know say them lies Yeah man There are big production, you know King Clico Big Boss Big up MC Sosa Keith Old Crew Tech Galba No Blush Hey, that's King Rico.
Rico with Make It. Let's see if it's getting a shout out or we're going to hit the mute button. Ronnie D? Or is Ronnie D still here or is, it, is, it, is it, uh, Spit Faces still in the studio? That spit, that spit Face had to go back to his studio, so I'm back here. Now, uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, actually, I really like the track. I didn't like the little promotional bits that they threw in. It just kind of, even though the beat kept going, it just felt so out of place for the song. So I was like, they could have left out the whatever production, because uh, then it started making it sound like a commercial. Mm. But other than that, you know, I mean, it flowed, but other than that, you know, and I could get you, but, uh, you know, it, it, it just, it, it was tacky. Look, Ronnie, you don't know these young artists. They always pro- produce, not produce. No, no, I get I, You know, but it's still, it's still tacky. You know, it, it, shows, they're always it, 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 it's, their it, albums, so. Yeah, and I, I know it's still tacky with no class. You know, let your music speak for itself. If you got faith in it, you got, let it speak for itself. All right. Speak for itself. All right. Dizzy Mac. And what do you think of King Clico? Well, I like the beat. I like the beat. If he could have just left his vocals off, I would have took the beat. You know, just wow. they could have done what they say. Yeah, you know, so we're going to give it a yo because, again, the vocals really didn't seem like it went with the beat. It, you know, it kind of made the beat, you know, uh, uh, just sound like it would have did better off without the vocals. <laughs> okay. Oh, I disagree with you, Dizzy Mac. I like this voice. Was I thought it was a good match on the beat. And, yeah, the music was dope on this song. But I'm going to definitely give it a shout-out. I was definitely feeling Make It. Uh, I, actually, I like both of his productions. So I, I really, I thought it was good. You know, I like reggae music. So it, it, this this was great. This was okay. Hold on for a second. Did you say you were feeling naked? <laughs> Is that what I said? I don't think that's what I said. I thought I said I was feeling, I don't remember what I said now. But no, I didn't say I was feeling naked. I leave that up to you, Dizzy Matt. <laughs> that's up to you to stay naked on the bare skin rug. I don't want to take that crown away from you. <laughs> All right, that's the end of Shout Out. If you like what you heard from King Clico, check him out on Mega Productions. Ductio 2, well, anyway, you know what? Let me just say it and spell it for you. It is M-E-G-A-P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O 2 dot W-I-X dot com forward slash King dash Clico, C-L-I-C-O. That's a mouthful. If you would like to be heard or have any comments, you can send your emails and tracks too. Panties at oldgrumpyradio.com. All right, it's time for the picks. Time to see who will be our hardball champ. I am sorry to report that we do not have our results from last week, but we will definitely come back with our results at the next. We need to find a production assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we're not paying them that much. I mean, when you're dealing with interns, what can you say? At the end of our week, at the end of our week, Arizona will snake bit them and be above 500. 200 for the correct answer and negative 300 for the incorrect answer. Um, Dizzy Mac, I'm going to say yes. Arizona will be above 500. What are you saying? They're going to get bit by that snake. They're they going to be bit by the snake? Them. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying no? I'm saying no. All right. Ronnie B., what does Joe say? Joe is going no. Okay. Texas Rangers will be above 500. Ronnie B., what is Joe saying? No. No. I'm going to say no also. I'm sorry. There's 300 for the correct answer and minus 400 for the incorrect answer. Dizzy Mac, what are you saying? I'm going to say no, but they will win the fight. Did you see them? <laughs> 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 Madison Bumgarner, 
man, boy, it, it, Adrian Beltre was ready to get out of man. If they, they don't win no game, they'll win the fight. They're going to win the fight. All right, Houston, and we talked about them Astros earlier, will lead the AL West. 300 for the correct answer, minus 500 for the incorrect answer. Um, I'm going to say yes, they will continue to lead the AL West. Dizzy back? Yeah, I'm going to let them, I'm going to say yes, they're going to lead for just a little bit more, just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit more. Um, Joe, I mean, what does Roddy B, what does Joe have with this particular pick? Yes. Okay, I thought you were going to do all I'm going to roll. Okay, the Mets will overtake Washington Nationals and be in first place. 300 for the correct answer, minus 400 for an incorrect answer. Dizzy Mac, what do you think no. about the Mets? No, no. I'm going to say no also. I just don't think the Mets have it. They're not playing like the Yankees. Roddy B., what is Joe's pick? This is the week for Washington to have those have a wake up stumble. You know that little stumble where you do, where you happen to lose a game or two and drop out, and that kind of wake everybody up to whoa, whoa, whoa. We you know we got the marathon coming forward. Well, so I think this is going to be that wake up week. They're going to stumble a couple of times. Oh, ho, ho. Mets will overtake Washington, not by much, but just enough. Just enough. All right. Well, we'll see how we did do uh, how our picks are for next week, and we will have those results. Before we go, it's time to find out what we missed this week. Dizzy Mac, what did you miss? I missed Mike Scott of the Atlanta Hawks getting arrested for marijuana Ooh. possession and MDMA possession. What you doing? Mm-hmm. Give me that Molly. Mm. Yes, I saw them mug shots. Those are some horrible looking mug shots. Mm-hmm. All right, Ronnie D, what did you miss? Uh I missed that uh that the swimming event at in the Olympics, uh the waters have been tested and uh the word sewer was mentioned in the same breath. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, uh, that a big deal that you know they're ha- they're looking at the um, the waterways that the, they want them to be outdoors are polluted and with viruses and bacteria. Mm-hmm. But the the the, the phrase of Olympic swimmers in sewer water was mentioned. <laughs> That's why I don't swim in public pools now. Um, <laughs> It's not what I did in this. Oh, I'm sorry. What you gonna say, Dizzy Mac? Oh no, I don't blame you. I don't swim in public pools and public places either. (laughs) Okay, I just want to say on behalf of Old Grumpy, our condolences go out to Roddy Piper's family. You know, the great wrestler passed away out of a heart attack at age 61. So WWE is not going to be the same again without Rowdy Piper. And, 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 and firstly, we do want to mention that our guest last week, we want to send condolences to his family. Our guest panelist was uh, Lynn Krieger, Houston's hottest uh, uh, comedian, and uh, his mother passed away the day of the taping. So our condolences and much love to his family, and he uh, wants to be back on the show, but of course, when you know it's appropriate. Yes. Yeah. Our condolences. All right, Pete. All right. Well, this has been Cheryl Smith and Dizzy Mac. You have been listening to Bras, Panties, and Sports. Stay out of them. <laughs>